every year we go in saying the Texans have to take offensive linemen, and then they don't. But this year they finally did, it seems. Uh, what Do you think they, they fixed whatever issues might be up front to protect Deshaun Watson? They had just as big an age at cornerback as they did at offensive tackle. And in their history, they had only taken two offensive tackles in the first two rounds, only one since 2002. So they took Titus Howard in the first round. They expect him to be a starter instantly. And they took Max Sharping in the second round. And then they took a corner in the second and the sixth. So they've added six new they they've added in free agency in the draft six new players at those positions and now they gotta see how it all falls out. But nobody was happier than Deshaun Watson. And Watson has to mature enough in his third season, second season in the starter to help reduce some of those sacks and hits. He took hundred and thirty two hits besides the sacks to get rid of the ball quicker. They have uh, is it uh, a Miller's running game essentially as well, John? I mean, I thought they yeah might... they weren't interested in the back. A lot of people thought they were. They got Lamar Miller. He missed two and a half games last year. If he hadn't, he'd had around eleven, twelve hundred yards. Their backup Deontay Foreman is in really good shape, and okay. they'll get a third back from the twenty free undrafted free agents they signed, including two running backs. So I think, you know, Wednesday, Thursday is the first day, I believe, Rich, that you can sign a free agent who no longer counts toward the compensatory picks. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have a no, whole new wave of free agency, and I'm sure the Texans will sign a couple more. If I'm not mistaken, John McClain, did I see Karan Higdon signing there? As a, uh, he did. A, I like that kid, man, they from gave Michigan. Him some good money to get him. They gave uh, – the guy they really like, too, is Johnny Dixon, the receiver from Ohio State. I still don't understand why he wasn't drafted. Right. So those are two guys could make this team as undrafted free agents. The thousand-yard rusher from Michigan. That those those haven't ha- happened very very recently, John. So I, I like him. I mean, that's not that's a really good undrafted free agent signing, and we all know. I mean, I'm not saying he's Philip Lindsay, but I'm just saying is that uh, uh, undrafted free agent signings can actually hit a jackpot at that position in the NFL. Great opportunity for him because they definitely have an opening. They've got two and everything else is wide open. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.